Hi, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Back in 2011, I did a tutorial on this flower garden quilt right here. And um, it's, uh, it's just a really great little pattern, but we added some sashing with cornerstones and we've been getting a lot of questions about sashing. So over here, this quilt right here, we remade the quilt, but we put a sashing and a cornerstone in there. And so that's what we're gonna talk about today. When I made this quilt, I used this and that charm pack from Nancy Halverson, this one um, right here behind me. And it's made using three charm packs. Now remember, how many charm packs you use is gonna change the size of your quilt. One makes a baby, two makes a crib, three makes a lap, four makes a twin. So that just gives you a general idea of how many you need to use to make a quilt. When you add a sashing in here in between, which are the strips that go in between, your quilt's going to get even bigger faster. So you can get a really big quilt really fast with the sashing. So let's, let me go through this block just generally quickly to show you how we did it. And if you need more info, you can check back with that other tutorial. Um, the, it'll be in the description below if you need to go to that. So to make this quilt, what you're going to do is you're going to take four charm packs that are like colors you know like this right here and you're going to put them together the first thing you have to do is each charm pack you're going to snowball three corners so you have your charm pack right here you're going to take your little I used inch and a half squares and you're going to put them on the on three of the corners just like this and you're going to sew diagonally corner to corner you can mark that if you want or press it and then you're going to sew uh, three of, or four of those together. So I have one here, right here. This has all the three corners sewn right here, you can see. And I just sewed on the line and trimmed off this little edge back here. And then you're going to put four of those together. So I have some over here that are cut. And of course, yours will be matchers. Mine are leftover pieces. But when you put them together just like this, it will form a four patch. So let me scoot this down here to make sure you can see it. So you'll sew these two together. So you'll match color to color, white to white, color to color, white to white on all four sides, just like this. And you'll sew these two like this, quarter inch seam, and then these two like this, a quarter inch seam. And so then you end up with a block and your block is going to look like this. So now what we're going to talk about is the sashing. Sashing really can make a quilt and it can be any size that you want it to be and it just really is up to personal preference. Right here in between our squares we've used a two and a half inch sashing and let me show you how you figure that out. So whatever size your block ends up being, and this works for any size blocks on any quilt, you're going to measure that block. My block measures to be uh, nine and a half inches. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to decide how wide I want my sashing and this is a two and a half inch strip and I'm going to cut my strips at, uh, at nine and a half, the exact same length as my square. So let me go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to attach this sashing right here, quarter of an inch in between every block. So let me show it, put a row of these out and show you how this is going to look. So see how we just keep adding a sashing and a block and a sashing and a block. Now when you're ready to do your second row, your in-between row right here that has this little cornerstone right here, your sashings are going to be the same size. They're still going to be nine and a half because your block is square, but then you need that little cornerstone. Now the cornerstone is going to be the same width as your sashing. It's just going to be a square. So ours is two and a half. And so we're looking for two and a half inch squares. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to take some of my leftover charm packs and I'm going to cut this in half both directions and that's going to give me four two and a half inch squares. So just like that, there we go. Now what we're, what we're going to do now is we'll take our, we're going to make our row again. Just like that. And then we're going to get ready to put our sashing in here. So what we'll do is we'll take our sashing piece, and again they're the same size as your blocks, put our little square in, put another sashing piece in and it's as easy as that. So let me show you, I've got one cut here that I've done. 
So see how these line up? Your sashing, your sashing is going to line up row to row like this. But we then have our long middle strip right here and it will go just like this and it will fit in here. So just to recap on this, when you have your block finished, you're going to measure it. That's going to give you the length of your sashing. Your sashing is going to go in between the blocks. So you're going to go block, sashing, block, sashing, and that's how you're going to make your rows. And then when you go to put your rows together, you're going to make a sashing strip. The sashing strip is also going to be the same width as your block with a little cornerstone that is the same size, the same width as your sashing strip, only in a square. So we've got two and a half inch strips and two and a half inch squares. And that goes in between your rows. And that's going to give you this great look right here that's just going to pop your squares. Sashing is awesome for setting quilt blocks and just making them just pop. And it's also good for making your quilt a little larger if you need to. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on sashing from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.